Hello skill of TNs! In this video, I'm going to quickly share with you 63 tips, tricks and secrets you may not have known in Zelda Skyward Sword. The things I mentioned in this video will be helpful tricks, help you find some items, and maybe a few random secrets that make sense but you may not have thought about. I'm Nico and I like finding everything in Zelda games, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. There are a few crawl spaces in this game. If you want to save a few seconds in the crawl space, you can roll into them to get some distance, or maybe even skip it if it's a short crawl space. Speaking of crawl space, just use up all your stamina while you're in there. Link will not crawl slower than normal if he loses stamina. And speaking of rolling, you can roll through skull telewebs to also save you some time. When crossing sink sand, you can get more distance by double jumping. Z target, then press A twice. Link will jump forward, then do a jump sword attack. Then Run! Also, there is a trick to get even more distance. Check the card in the corner or the link in the description. If you dislike swimming, lose patience, and spiral attack too much like I do, you'll lose air quickly. If there's a mushroom around, you can attack the mushroom and an air bubble will pop out. If you happen to have a bottle of water, you can pour it on a heart flower to get another heart. Of course, this only works in normal mode. Once in a while, you'll see a random mushroom that's glittering. Hit the mushroom and grab the spores with the bottle. You'll receive glittering spores with five uses. If you miss, the glitter will be gone. You can save and reload until it comes back. You can use the spores to stun enemies. You can use the spores on a heart and the heart will become a fairy. Using the spores can also attract bugs. Use them on rupees and it'll make the rupee change into a different value. Even a rupor that will take rupees away from you. Use them on a gossip stone and the stone will shrink. This does nothing, it's just for fun. While we're on the subject of gossip stones, bombs will cause them to launch in the air. Using a whip will make them spin. Using gust bellows will also make them shrink. Playing the harp will make them rock to the music. And if you hit them with an arrow, you'll get a rupee. Finding rupees is always great. Here are a few places that give you free rupees. In Skyloft, besides pots and trees, there are two flags by these steps that drop five rupees when you use gust bellows on them. I've tried the other flags, but nothing happened. Hitting the bell above the Knight's Academy will drop one rupee. In Link's room, there are five rupees in a cupboard. The rupee does respawn, so grab it when you happen to be in the Knight's Academy. Before you open the Skyview Temple's door, shoot the gems and rupees will pop out. While you're here, the statues outside drop hearts if you roll into them. But of course, this won't work in hero mode. And also, these statues in Skyview Temple can drop some Deku Seeds if you roll into them. And so do the statues outside the Ancient Cistern. In Elden, there are colored ore on the walls in the Thrill Digger Cave. You can shoot them for more rupees. Just watch out for the dark ones, they are rupors. The big red gem on top of the Earth Temple's door will drop a red rupee. The statues in the first room can also drop some rupees, but can also drop some hearts in normal mode. There's a room here with aligned statues. They can also drop rupees. And when you see the dragon head with nothing coming out of it while you're running on the ball, fly your beetle inside you'll get a silver rupee. If you see these white bags in little huts while you're in Elden, guess what they drop? And anytime you see a cooking pot, hitting them will cause a heart to pop out in normal mode. In the first area of Lineru, shoot the big statue in the eye. You'll get more rupees. 
You can also use the gust bellows above each robot that's digging. You'll get some more money there. When you get to the destroyed Temple of Time, the statues here also drop rupees. Hey look! Eyeballs in the mining facility? Guess how to get rupees from them. And when you reach the captain's house, look up and you'll see another pair of eyeballs. Shoot them. In the sky, you may have seen a few crows carrying rupees. But when flying above the Lumpy Pumpkin or Bamboo Island, you'll come across some flying squirrels called ringers as you're dropping down. If you collect all 10, you'll get a red rupee. While you're at Bamboo Island entrance, you'll see hanging flowers. Yep, more rupees. There are two small islands in the sky with breakable rocks on the island. When your Skyloft learns a spiral charge, you can use the charge to destroy the rock and a treasure chest will be hidden under it. Both chests contain a silver rupee. There's one all the way west, close to the high dive minigame. And the other is in the southeastmost island. And speaking of the spiral charge, you can use it to stop those annoying tornadoes. Now let me help you with some enemies. You'll fight Deku Babas for a lot of your journey. If Link throws bombs at them, they'll try to eat it, which is a bad idea. If you're very good at missing the direction of the sword swing, you can poke them or use a Skyward Strike poke to hit them every time. If you have good timing, you can parry Bimo's beams to stun them. Using Gust Bellows on their ears will make them spin and also stun them. You probably should defeat them by slicing their bodies, but you can also shoot them in the eye when you get a bow. Crispo Coblins are kind of annoying and they take some time to defeat. This doesn't make defeating them any faster, but if Link shows any of the sacred shields to them, they will get scared and back off. But to defeat them quickly, bombs do one-hit kills. When you fight the boss Tentalus, you can use arrows on its tentacles, even though they tell you to use the Skyward Strike. So stand in the corner when they're coming out of the ground. And you can use arrows on the Eyeball Parasite on Levias. I hope this isn't a spoiler, I've probably spoiled something already, but it doesn't make the final boss any easier anyways. If Link is holding the bug net, Demise will not do anything. You can swing it around and he'll just eyeball it. Once you put it away or walk too far, he'll attack you, so be careful. The crows and Farron poop on you and that's not nice. You can use the whip to easily defeat them. You can use the whip to grab items and even bombs. So if you don't want to walk all the way back and forth for the bombs, you can use the whip to travel just a little bit faster. The game does tell you this, but if you're like me, you skip a lot of the text. You can use the whip to grab monster hordes from Bokoblins that carry them. And when you finally open this door on the sand ship, you can go in and out to collect as many monster horns as you want from this Bokoblin. I was able to get about 9 horns every 2 minutes. There's a section in the Goddess Statue Island in Skyloft that you can't access until you get the claw shot. There's not much here, just cats. Meow. If you play the harp in front of cats, they will sit, listen, and sing. This won't happen at night, of course, unless you finish helping Patrol. When using the bone arrow, if you press L, you can use that bone arrow like using a bone arrow in real life. You just have to pull back your left Joy-Con to pull back the arrow. When you pick up an item for the first time, Link will hold it up for discovering it. You probably haven't thought about it, but it's possible that you haven't discovered a single arrow yet. If you're playing in hero mode, you probably haven't discovered a heart yet. You'll need to get them from the goddess wall. And speaking of the goddess wall, it's the only way I know to discover a silver rupee for the first time. I've yet to discover a gold rupee, I wonder if it's possible. 
If there's a place to sit next to a non-playable character, sit down, they'll have a unique conversation with you. There's one gossip stone in the cave in Skyloft. You can buy rare items from it. The only problem is that you have to buy them one at a time by leaving and going back in and buying it again from the statue. When you first encounter a goddess cube, Gorko the Goron is there and he asks for your help. If you deny him twice, he'll give you a hornet lava to help him. I'm sure there are many other random things that you can think about that people don't know. Feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you liked this video, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time!